Um, I was going to start off with um, Ezekiel 33, um, 21 and 22. Um, but I want to come back to that. I want to start off with Ezekiel 1 and 1. And the reason why I want to start off with this is because I told you that the we're in, going into the 10th month. And the 10th month and the 4th month mirrors each other. So in the Southern Hemisphere, they're in their 4th month, going in their 4th month. And we're going in our 10th month. And everything's happening at the same time. And if you just stick with me, I'm going to show you how everything lines up. Okay? All right. Don't talk about my Bible, okay? <laughs> Ezekiel chapter 1. Now it came to pass in the 13th year, and the fourth month, and the fifth, and the fifth day of the month, and I was among the captives by the river of Chibar, that the heavens were open, and I saw a vision of Yahuwah. And in the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's captivity, See, they're talking about captives, fourth month, fifth day. And in verse 3 it says, excuse me, in verse 1 it said that the heavens were opened. And will all things happen when the heavens are opened? And we're going to be picking up in Ezekiel chapter 33. Okay, I'm going to start from the beginning. Verse 1. Again, the, the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if he see if the sword come upon the land, and he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, and taketh not the warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, and his blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman sees the sword come, and blow not his trumpet, and thy people be not warned. If the sword come and take any person from among them, he has taken away his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So thou, O son of man, have I set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth, and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that the wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. So nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked, the wicked of his way, um, to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. And therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how should we then live? But say unto them, As I live, saith Yahuwah our God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But that the wicked turn from his way and live. Ye, turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? Therefore, thou son of man, say unto the children of thy people, The righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not, he shall not fa fall thereby in the day that he turned from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteousness be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sinneth. 
when I say to the righteous that he shall surely live, if he trusts in his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all his righteousness shall not be remembered. But for his iniquity that he have committed, he shall die for it. And again, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. If he turn from his sin and do that which is lawful and right.